Hey guys, so it's Monday and I'm working on inventory right now, trying to go through all of my stuff and figure out what's listed, what's not listed. As you can see, it's a big hot mess. Trying to organize it all so that I can find stuff faster when I'm having to pull things and I'm not running through different rooms looking for stuff. Um, I bought a ton of stuff to list over the weekend, so I'm going to work on that later tonight. Hopefully I'll be able to finish this in a few hours, and then I'll be able to find my stuff when people buy it. But, so this is what I'm working on today, and I'll check back with you guys a little bit later. So I decided to start pre-packaging my ties. Um, I don't have very many right now, but as you can see, they just... They store much better if they're in bags, rather than just throwing them all in here in a huge pile. Um, this is just a little bin that I got from the Dollar Tree. And they just pack really nicely right in there. So that's what I'm working on. Probably not going to do this with clothes, but for smaller items, I think it'll work better. Okay, so here are my jeans that I just semi-organized. Um... Eventually, I hope to get a shelving unit and put them on a shelf by, I guess, labeled alphabetically or organized alphabetically. Um, but for now, I'm just going to keep them in here. I bought quite a few more pairs of jeans the past few days. So, I need somewhere to put them for now so I can get a shelving unit. But I just put them in here vertically so that I can see the brands and everything on them. I tried to group the same brands together, like all the American Eagle ones are together. Um, and then like colors, patterns are together, and then black jeans are together. Um, eventually I'll have a better method, but for now at least this will get them all into one place so that if somebody buys a pair, I can just run straight here, grab a pair. Um, I probably fit about 25 pairs in here. You can fit quite a bit more if you store them this way in a bin. Eventually they won't be in a bin, but for now, this is the most efficient way for me to find them. Okay, so I figured out kind of a storage hack for storing things in these bins. If you go back and watch my Dollar Tree haul video that I did a while back, um, it should be the video before this one. Um, You'll see that I got these bags. They're size XL and they're from they're from Dollar Tree. And you'll get two in a box for a dollar. And so what I've done is I have sorted the items. Like these two bags are women's tops. And then this bag is dresses and skirts. And so this way I can store these vertically. And I basically doubled my storage space because beforehand I was fitting about 30 pieces into a bin. And this is about 60 pieces right here because they're stored vertically. And so also that way, if someone buys something, you can just go and pull out the bag. Um, eventually I'll have these labeled, but you can pull them out and just go through the one bag versus going through the entire storage bin and messing up the entire bin and just having a huge pile of clothes in the bin. So I'm going to label these um, dresses and skirts, women's tops, and obviously I'll have to get more of these. Um, I have a ton of stuff that's not listed. This is just listed inventory right now. But I can probably fit about 20 as long as it's not bulky. This is not including, you know, sweaters, jackets. These are just basic tops. So. You could probably fit 20 to 30 tops in a bag if you fold them right. Because I have them kind of doubled in there. Like one stack here, one stack here. And then that way, you just pull out the bag, grab what you need, and then put it back in the bin. And you can also, like, the lid will go on here fine. And then I did this one the same way. Um, this is another bag that I have that's just a few kids' items. And then this is men's shirts. Uh, some t-shirts and then some seasonal items that I had that I kind of separated by themselves so that I know where they are. Um, but yeah, go back and watch my Dollar Tree haul video and you'll see the exact box and you'll see um, these are the size XL 
Uh, my store has them in large, XL, and double XL, and these are the XL size because they fit in the storage bins. But yeah, so if you need to maximize your storage space in your bins, you can basically double it with these. So moving forward, obviously I'll have to get more bags and then um, I plan on sorting everything by what the item is. Like eventually this bin will be all women's tops and then I'll move the dresses and skirts to a bin by themselves. And then I'll have, you know, a bin for men's shirts, uh, men's jeans, uh, shorts, non-denim pants for women, um, probably kid stuff, t-shirts. Uh, I do have a few bathing suits. Um, I'm not sure if I'll get enough to a point to where I'll need a bin just for those. Um, this is my jeans bin. This is one pair of men's jeans that I have listed. I have some more, but I'm going to have to redo the pictures for them. Um, and then just a few pairs of shorts that I just kind of put on top of my jeans bin. There aren't very many, so I can easily get to my jeans. Um, but yeah, so I just condensed all of that inventory into three bins. Three bins. And now all of it is in one place with the exception of a few things that I have hanging up like some blazers and jackets and stuff. Um, but all of my clothing items are in one place and I can find them. I know where they are. I'm super excited. So I just went through and counted everything and this is total 115 pieces of inventory that I fit into three storage bins, including jeans, including this whole container of jeans. You can see them under here. Jeans, a pair of men's jeans, shorts, 115 pieces of inventory in three bins. So hopefully this video helps you guys and it will help you kind of maximize your storage space so that you can store more stuff. Hopefully it's not going to be stored for long because hopefully it'll sell. But at least now I've condensed all of it to where I can find it easily. And now I can go focus on getting the stuff that I don't have listed, photographed, measured, all of that great stuff. So I hope you guys have a great Monday. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, and I'll be back soon with another video for you guys.